I've tried a lot of baby carriers and today I'm going to show you my favorite ones for a newborn. I found that one of the easiest ways to take care of a newborn baby is especially when you have other kids, so I really felt that this time is to put them in a baby carrier or like this is the Solly baby wrap and I love it. You just put them in the baby carrier or the baby wrap and then you can go about your day taking care of your other kids, cooking dinner, whatever it is you need to do. Hopefully this video will help you find one that works for you and your family. Okay, first up, this is my absolute favorite way to carry a newborn. This is the Solly baby wrap and oh my goodness, they are so soft and stretchy. So I have tried plenty of other wraps. I've tried the Moby wrap is what I used with my first one and I liked it but it is thicker, much thicker and a little less stretchy. So this one just wraps easier. I find it's so much easier to get a good wrap every time when I use this and wrapping is definitely something that takes practice. If you don't think you like it then just keep at it and maybe try the Solly wrap. I'll, I'll link it below because seriously these are the best wraps. When I put it on, I make sure I do it fairly tight and the baby just stretches it out. I think that's the key. If you don't get it tight enough, you feel like your baby's going to fall out and your baby gets kind of droopy. But when you do it really tight, it stretches for the baby and then the baby is super snug um, against you. So definitely, if you're not used to wearing your baby, you can look into all the safety stuff. They keep it close enough to kiss and all of those things. But this is how I love to carry my son. This is like I said, my third baby, so but with a newborn you can do their legs in froggy style or you can do them out. My, my son is eight weeks in this video, so I do his legs out because he's getting a little bit bigger, but yeah, it makes for a great carrier. Once they fall asleep, you can just tuck their head under one of the pieces that go over your arm. It makes it really easy to go about doing your household chores. Okay, next up is my happy baby carrier. I love this one. It's made of linen and it's pretty lightweight for a soft structured carrier and I also love that it can be used on newborns whereas all soft structured carriers can't be. It's more packable I think than the Tula or the Ergo with the thicker straps. So it's, and this is just their original. I also have um, another one of theirs but the original is my favorite. If the wrap overwhelms you, then I think that the Happy Baby Carrier could be a really great way to go for your newborn. I don't find it quite as comfortable as a wrap. And baby Lachlan here that I'm holding, he much, much prefers the wrap. He could sleep in the wrap all day. The carrier he's fine with, but it's not as snuggly as a wrap. So this is the Secura Bloom, and it is more of a higher end carrier. This was actually a birthday present my husband got for me right after I found out I was having a third baby. And I love it because it's a beautiful carrier. They come in a lot of different fabrics. So they come in silk and linen. And this one is actually made of silk. It's like a thicker kind of silk. And I like, I have a smaller frame. So what I love about it is it can be pulled to put fit me since it does just thread through the loop as opposed to having buckles. And then you can, as you can see here, you can cinch down the middle as well for your baby, depending on their size. So again, I'm gonna show you, you can put their legs in froggy style. You actually need the knees up a little more than what I'm showing here. And my baby, like I said, he's at Lachlan's eight weeks in these videos. So I am pretty much doing his legs out at this point. I'm not gonna show you all of that, but here is how I've been wearing him. You can do legs in though, and they have lots of information on this on their website. And again, it's a buckle that threads through on the back. This, this one has leather on them. Some of them do not have leather, but are just made of fabric. So it does make it a little bit bulkier. It's a comfortable carrier and I think it looks really nice. I think my Happy Baby is a little more comfortable. I don't know if that's to do with the leather, but this is a fun carrier for sure. Okay, next up is the Ergo. This is, I think, the Omni 360. And you can see, you can adjust it with Velcro. So it's super easy to adjust down for a newborn and it's similar it just goes on like the happy baby it clicks in the back it does have a little bit of back support so if you have trouble with your back this i think could be a more comfortable carrier than the happy baby which also does play can place a little bit of pressure on your lower stomach i mean it's pelvic discomfort from um birth and pregnancy then this may be a more comfortable choice because it does seem like it kind of fits lower on your hips 
Now, I showed you can buckle it in the back like, like the happy baby, or you can cross the straps, which as sort of a petite mom, that's my preference. It gets the bulk away from my shoulders and puts it in the back, plus then I can pull it pretty tight and get a good snug fit with my baby. He likes it fine. This is my husband's carrier. I don't use it often. Okay, this is actually my husband's carrier too. This is the Ergo Embrace. You can see he rolls it up uh, before he puts it on for our newborn, and then he buckles it. He got this because Lachlan does prefer a wrap, but at the time he had not yet got the hang of wrapping, so we got this Embrace carrier, and it was perfect. It's kind of like a cross between a wrap and a carrier. It just kind of goes ahead and gives your baby that snug, cozy wear that a wrap would give, but without quite as many steps. Now he's using the wrap, and now that he's used to the wrap, he will choose it every single time over this carrier. And I do think it's super helpful to have your husband with a carrier that he feels comfortable in as well, especially as your body's healing in those really early weeks. It can be so helpful to have him wearing the baby thumb as well. Okay, last we've got the baby Catan, and I had this with my firstborn. After I recorded this video, I decided to get rid of it because I've actually not used it since I had my firstborn. Once I learned her app, I really didn't see any reason for it, but with my firstborn, it took me some time to figure out how to wrap besides the fact of learning how to take care of a baby. So I just found it easier to put this one on, especially when I was out in town. Now I just wrap my wrap usually before I even leave the house and then I can just pop my baby in when I get to the store. But this. If, if you're a little uncertain about the wrap, you may want to try this. It, like I said, it's not my favorite. And what I don't like about it is they do come in certain sizes. So you have to get a certain size. And like the, I had to get the extra small size. It didn't fit for my husband. And now that I'm to my third baby, I think it's a little more snug than it was with my firstborn. So it's not super comfortable. You can see here, I am sort of tying that up. I should have pulled it up a little higher, but that's supposed to provide a little more support. It's just not as supportive as like the Solly wrap. So I definitely recommend this to all of you over this. Thanks guys for watching. I really hope this video helps you find a carrier or a wrap that works for you and your newborn. Please, if you have any others that you love that I didn't talk about today, just drop them in the comments below. I would love to know what they are. I hope that you find wearing your baby as helpful as I do. I know that it's the one way that I can continue to get stuff done, take care of my family, and run errands, cook dinner, whatever it is, while I have my baby in the wrap. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe for more videos about babies, toddlers, healthy eating, and I'll see you next time.